when you're feeling low, baby, you should. This is my prom dress, 2013 senior prom. Not the color, but the dress. And we're gonna make it. Yes, we are. Whatever song you want. Don't know. Look at it. It's going. Oh my god, that is so cool. Is the sound coming out of it? I don't know, but... But it's going to the song. Accident no, no, no. Accidentally in Love by, the count by Counting Crows. That is so cool. Let's pick another song. It's snowing! It's snowing! <laughs> <laughs> see if we can see it. I always wonder whose car that is. It's a janitor's. Yeah. You can't tell it's snowing, but it is. I promise you. Chris chose Boston College only to break his wrist during his first collegiate game. Sidelined by his injury, Heron failed several drug tests and left Boston College. He continued his college career at Fresno State, where he led the nation in assistant seals. Drafted in the second round of the 1999 NBA Draft, Chris played for the Denver Nuggets his rookie year prior to being traded to the Boston Celtics in 2000. As a Celtic, Chris had a career-high career high 18 points against Dallas and then suffered a season-ending injury. After being released from the Celtics, Chris played basketball overseas in five countries, including Italy, Poland, Turkey, China, and Iran. Chris struggled with substance abuse for much of his basketball career. Alcohol and drug-free since August 1st, 2008, Chris has refocused his life to put his sobriety and family above all else. In June of 2009, Heron launched Hope Dreams with Chris Heron, a basketball player development company, which offers basketball training camps and clinics to top basketball prospects in New England. Heron's memoir, Basketball Junkie, written with Providence Journal columnist Bill Reynolds, was released in May of 2011, chronicling his struggles with addiction in his journey on and off. It's good to be here. I um. You know, I had the honor and the privilege of traveling all across the country today, sharing my story. And before every, before every crowd I speak in front of, I say a prayer. I say to myself, please, please God, let me make a difference in one person's life. Let me make a difference in one person's life in this gym today. I do this because I look back and I remember what it was like. I remember walking into these gyms like you did today. I remember sitting in my seat and saying, you know something, I just drink and smoke. I'll never take it a step further. I know what it's like coming in here and saying, my dad, he's a politician. My mom works in corporate America. It doesn't pertain to me. I know what it's like to come in here and say, Rick Pitino, Mike Krzyzewski, Jim Beheim, the biggest college coaches in this country will be in this gym after this assembly to watch me play. I don't need to hear this story. And then, oh yeah, I'm gonna take the first <laughs> Elephant. I don't want to. I'm nervous. Oops. Don't drink. Make sure your waters aren't the best. Yeah. <laughs> Baxter ripped up our lottery ticket. It's a good thing we didn't win. This is my animation I made. Yeah, we are. It's really slow. I don't know. Guess what? UPS is here. Guess what that means, puppy dog? My spikes are here. Yeah, there it goes. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Yeah, there's a package. Oh. My spikes, my spikes. La, 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 la. Yay. Yay. My last spikes of senior year. So sad. They're here. They're here. They're here. Yeah. Look, look, look. Look how beautiful. Look at them. Smell it. Next. 
zipper and it says Prima Diva Sprint 2. Look! Oh, that's so cool. This sponsor. Oh, I have to try them on.